Hi guys, it's Miss Hardiman. So today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the art of Mary Blair. Now Mary Blair was an artist that worked for the Walt Disney Company. I'm going to be reading to you about her from this book that's really special to me. It's called Women in Art, um, 50 Fearless Creatives Who Inspired the World. Um, so it's all about women artists and a lot of my favorites are in here. And I also really like the illustrations that they use. So I'm going to flip to the section about Mary Blair and read it to you. So I'll post pictures of the pages so you can look at them on your own. But here's a really beautiful picture with some facts about Mary Blair around it showing her style down here. Mary Blair um, is an illustrator, designer, concept artist, and animator who lived from 1911 until 1978. The Walt Disney Studios has been made one of the most iconic animated films in history. Behind the scenes of each of these films are hundreds of talented animators and concept artists, and one of the most enduring and influential artists was Mary Blair. Born in Oklahoma in 1911, Mary graduated from the Shannon Art Institute in Los Angeles in 1933 with the hopes of becoming a traditional painter. When she left college, the Great Depression had cooled the high-end art world, and Mary needed to find commercial work. Mary began working as an animator in Hollywood, and in 1940, she joined Walt Disney Studios. The next year, Mary journeyed on a Disney-funded art retreat to South America. The colors and patterns that Mary saw in her travels inspired her. She began creating very stylized illustrations. Her work was playful, and many said that her paintings felt as if you were seeing the world through the eyes of a child. Walt Disney himself was so impressed by Mary's art that he named her art supervisor for the cartoons The Three Calaveros and Solitos Amigos. Her fresh and modern style made her one of Walt Disney's favorite artists. Her concept paintings heavily, heavily impacted the character designs, camera angles, and emotional use of color in many Disney movies. Her influence is especially seen in Alice in Wonderland, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Cinderella, and Peter Pan. After the completion of Peter Pan in 1953, Mary left Disney Studios to pursue a freelance career. She painted children's books, illustrations, created ads for Maxwell House Coffee, and designed window displays for luxury department stores in New York. In 1964, Walt Disney commissioned Mary for a special assignment to design a salute to children all over the world. The famous attraction, It's a Small World. On this ride, originally made for the 1964 New York World's Fair, passengers board an actual boat that travels through scenes from different countries. Mary designed each of the dancing animatronic characters, sculptures, and murals that give the ride its toy-like charm. All over the world, Disney theme parks still feature the It's a Small World ride, and visitors wait in line for hours just to experience its magic. Although Mary Blair worked decades ago, her whimsical artwork continues to stay relevant. Her legacy continues to influence illustrators and films today. So that's the main blurb that I just read you, and now I'm going to read some of the fun facts on the side. Mary Blair's concept art was used in many Disney short films, like Susie the Little Blue and the Little Coop House. So that's a cartoon, and you can see there's a little picture of it here. Her husband was Lee Blair, who was also an artist who worked at Disney. She painted many murals for Disneyland attractions, including the Grand Canyon Concourse at the Contemporary Resort and the Tomorrowland Promenade. So I actually included a picture of that mural on our slides today, so check it out. Mary Blair illustrated many golden books, including Up and Down Book and I Can Fly. So if you ever had those books as a child called Golden Books, um, Mary Blair may have illustrated one of your favorites. Mary Blair was the color designer on the 1967 film How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. In 2009, the Tokyo Museum of Contemporary Art displayed her first scale exhibit of work. So over here we have her picture, and then at the bottom it says, a quote by her, you get an education in school and in college, and then when you start to work, that's when you really learn. It's a quote by 
Mary Blair. This is a cartoon illustration of her with some um, pictures. You can see her painting the Alice in Wonderland scene of her falling down the rabbit hole, and then you can see some of her iconic architectural style. So we're going to be talking about her architectural style next. The assignment for this week is going to be for you to create a um, cityscape inspired by Mary Blair. Next week, we'll make a landscape inspired by Mary Blair. So let me explain the difference. A cityscape would be a picture that's featuring the sky and the background, which is behind. So if you look at this wall behind me, that's the background. I am the foreground. So the foreground in your drawing about Mary Blair would be the building. So I'm going to show you my example that I just drew. So this is my example of Mary Blair architecture. So if you look at my buildings, they have a lot of Mary Blair inspired shapes. Mary Blair used these hard geometric lines that I drew in Sharpie. Over here, I put numbers that I actually took this exact um, number display from the It's a Small World ride. I also included the It's a Small World clock. So you are free to draw some elements from her actual work, as well as experiment and create your own. For example, down here, I designed this pattern myself, and I designed this pattern up here by myself, but um, it's still something that Mary Blair would do, because it's got the curving lines along with the hard geometric lines. She used a lot of shapes in her architecture. Um, I saw a lot that had keyholes in them, so I included a keyhole as a door. I saw a lot of this star shape when I was looking at her artwork. I saw a lot of flags coming out of the top, a lot of this shape. So I took different shapes that I kept seeing, the windmill shape of this X, um, this flower shape here, and I put them all into my work. Now another thing that I did is I chose to use gold and silver um, as my color scheme. So you might want to think about Maybe you could use all pastel colors, or you could use all um, black and white, or you could use all greens and yellows, or you could use warm colors, yellows, reds, and oranges. So think about what colors you might want to use. Now, of course, if you just have a pencil, just draw it in pencil, and that will be fine, because we need to work with what we have. But I would love to see these all the way colored in. Um, and then I also want you to include a background. So the foreground is where the buildings are, and then the background would be sky behind. So make sure that you're including a sun or a sky or you could do rain clouds, you could do snow, anything you want for the sky behind. I just did a basic blue sky with white clouds, but you're free to make the weather that day whatever you want. So um, I've posted all these directions in slides along with pictures of Mary Blair's work and more information about her. There's also a really great video about her that's very entertaining. Um, so check all that stuff out. Um, email me if you have any questions. If you are having any trouble with submitting, I have posted a video about how to submit your work, um, but you can always email it to me. I want to get your work in some way, so if the system is giving you a problem, do not worry about it and shoot me an email and we will get it sorted out, okay? So um, I hope that you are doing well, and I hope to see and talk to you soon on a Zoom call. Bye!